Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna make a London Fog Tea. I tried the London Fog Tea from Starbucks and I just wanna see if I could recreate this drink in my own kitchen. Here are the ingredients I'm gonna be using. Now that my water's heated up, I'm going to steep my lavender with my Earl Grey tea bag. My tea mug actually has a special strainer for it, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of lavender in here. I'm not gonna use much, I'm just gonna use literally a pinch of it. Throw the tea bag in there and put it in the mug. And of course it's tea, so let it steep for just a minute or two. You know, I'm kind of in love with this tea mug. Here's my strainer with my tea bag and my lavender. And then it also has a lid. It's pretty neat. I think my tea's ready. It's up to you if you wanna leave your tea bag and lavender in there. I'm just gonna take mine out because I don't want the lavender floating around while I drink it which is why I use my strainer. Another thing I love about this little thing is that I actually use this as a little saucer. I don't know if that's what it's used for, but that's what I use it for. This is my first time using vanilla flavoring syrup, so I'm kind of interested in this. Let's see, first time opening the bottle. Do you ever open something for the first time and just have to smell it? smells sweet. For your creamer, I don't think it really matters what you use. I usually use a half and half, but I ran out and I bought this this morning. When I went to the store, they didn't have the half and half I usually buy, so I'm actually trying this for the first time too. For the vanilla, I'm just gonna use, I would say probably about half a tablespoon since I've never made this before. Okay, for the creamer, I usually like a lot of half and half, but I, I've never had this kind of creamer before, so I'm not too sure on this one either. I'm just gonna start with a tablespoon since I like a lot of it. You may use more or less depending on what you prefer. Well, that kind of looks like melted ice cream. Okay, you guys, this smells really good. Okay, let's try it. This is a winner. I'm gonna be making this every single day. <laughs> I will tell you this, I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not. But, but I like it. I think I was worried that it wouldn't be sweet because the vanilla syrup is sugar free and there's a couple grams of sugar in the creamer, but other than that, I mean, I didn't think it was gonna be sweet. So I'm, I'm impressed that it does taste sweet. And now I can make my own London Fog teas from home. So you guys try this and let me know what you think. If you add something to it or if you take something away from it and you like your recipe better, put it in the comments below and I will try your recipe too. Hey guys, really quick before we say goodbye, check out the shirt I'm wearing. So if you couldn't tell by my last video, I like to shop local. I like to shop local because I think it keeps the community unique and thriving and you're putting a lot of that money back into your own community. My friend designs these t-shirts. I'm gonna put his link in the comments below. You guys go click on it and check out his merchandise.